Well, here I am in a car again, as, uh, as seems to be the norm just lately. And I just wanted to talk to you about a little bit of, uh, about something that I've been thinking about just lately. In fact, what inspired me to talk about this is, is today, um, I, was, I was at the workshop, there's a knock on the door, and I uh, had some new shafts arrive, uh, some arrow shafts. So I'm on my way to the club now to try them out, see how they come out of my bow. Um, they're wrong. Well, in case anyone's wondering, they're Grizzly Sticks. Um, great name, right? Um, grizzly Sticks. Uh, they are a, a woven, car woven carbon continuous taper arrow shaft. Um, so I've been waiting to try those out for, for a while. So they arrived yesterday, uh, oh, they arrived today, I should say. So I'm gonna give those a bit of a play with, but that has made me think about something. Um, now, there's not a, a week or even a day really that goes past without me getting a message or an email or something from somebody asking about arrow tuning. And I'm a huge uh, advocate for arrow tuning. I think it's very important to get a very well-tuned arrow. Um, I think it eliminates some of the, the worry and the, and, the, and the query about your archery, archery if you know that your arrow's tuned in properly. I think that's very, very important. So what I'm about to say is gonna kind of contradict that, but people get way too caught up in the the min maxing and the and the absolute fine tuning of an arrow now what what a lot of traditional archers tend to forget is yeah you're shooting an arrow out of a bow usually off a shelf usually with your fingers usually with feathers on so there's quite a lot of variables there and we are not machines not one archer can execute a shot perfectly every time or every shot be a Robin Hood or thereabouts so we get really caught up in fiddling around and fine-tuning our arrows and our gear which is which is fine there is a I, I think you should fine-tune your gear and I think you should get it shooting at its absolute optimum but I think we spend too much time on it too much time worrying about it now, when I was a kid, when I used to play ice hockey, we, we had a coach and he would say something along the lines of, um, it, was, it was during the time when it was kind of in like the late 90s, mid late 90s, uh, I was playing and wooden sticks were kind of like a thing of the past and people were using like a composite um, shaft that you changed blades on, you changed stick blades and you could heat them up and change angles and whatnot and swap different blades over and all that kind of thing uh, and this coach would say if you spend less time messing with your stick blade and more time working on your stick handling you'd be a much better stick handler sorry for the accent that that stayed with me all all this time uh, and I see people constantly faffing with their equipment and and as archers I think we like to faff with our equipment that's what we do that's what makes us archers but something he said does ring true and it's if the more time you spend messing around with your equipment instead of working on your form and getting a really good solid repeatable form the better you're gonna be that the more you practice the better you're gonna be that that is as long as it's the right kind of practice. But if you're practicing the right kind of way and you're putting the hours in, you're gonna get better. No amount of agonizing over fine tuning the tiniest little bit of your equipment is actually gonna make you that much better. Putting in the groundwork at the foundation level, building up a good, solid, repeatable form is where you're gonna get better. That's where, that's where the good shots are gonna come from, not because you've taken three millimeters off, uh, off your arrow or you've, you've tried a different feather profile or something. The gains are gonna come from building the fundamentals. Uh, and it's easy to think that a new arrow shaft or a new limb or something is gonna give you better performance. And I suppose on some level it will, but unless you have the ability to execute a really controlled, accurate shot all the fiddling and faffing around with your gear in the world isn't going to do anything if every time you make that shot it's a different shot so before you agonize over making your equipment as highly tuned as possible 
make sure that you're as highly tuned as possible. Make sure that your shot is as highly tuned as possible. Make sure that you can make the shot that you wanna make when you wanna make it to be as consistent as possible. Because faffing around with gear isn't gonna make you a better archer. If you're a good archer, it will improve you, but it's not gonna make you a better archer. And all these gadgets and gizmos and, and whatnot, it reminds me of a saying my dad always says. Now, he's a fisherman. He's not an archer. He's a, he's a true blue fisherman. Uh, always has been, probably always will be. And he, I think his approach to, to fishing is a lot like my approach to archery. He likes to keep things very simple. He likes to just, you know, he likes the, the, the quiet life. And he, he always says all this fancy stuff, it catches more fishermen than it does fish. Uh, and again, that, that's something that ring, ring, rings true. Um, especially when I used to shoot compound, I was always looking for the next gadget or something that was gonna make me better. But that's not gonna make you better. Hard work and good practice is gonna make you better. So, um, I've been <laughs> blabbering on now. Uh, but I hope that kind of makes sense. Um, and it's, you know, I'm not, I'm not ragging on anyone for, for trying, to, trying to improve their equipment because I think it's incredibly important for you to do that. But just work, just make sure you, you don't neglect the fundamentals. You can't, you can't buy better scores, you can't buy better performance. You, you've got to earn it the hard way. Uh, but that's, that's all I've got to say on the mat, really. I, I hope that makes sense. Uh, but anyway, you take care, shoot straight, and uh, I guess I'll see you on the internet. Bye-bye.